One final thing you can do to this car is to get a little dull coat and then to put it on the brake wheel to take some of that plasticky look off of it. Give it a little more of a dull appearance. And then once you've got the dull coat on there, if you want, you can take a brush, get a little gray or brown powder on it, and just kind of go over the brake wheel real quick so it kind of has a dull dirty look to it. At this point the car is pretty much done. If you want to get more detailed you can turn the car over and do some weathering on the underside. Certainly get some more dirt up under these trucks here and do this area too. On some of the more fancy box cars and other pieces of rolling stock where you've got the detailed undercarriage it's a lot of fun to get there and weather the piping and everything that's under there. But for this car, I'm just going to leave it like this, and this is pretty much done. The only thing that's left to do is to clean the surface of the wheels so that we don't get any of the excess weathering powder onto the track. To clean these wheels, all you need to do is get a Q-tip soaked in either isopropyl alcohol or acetone and put it to the wheel and just turn the wheel, and it'll come clean really quickly and we'll do that to all these other wheels as well. In addition to cleaning the surface of the wheels, don't forget to clean the surface of this roller on this end of train device clip truck because you want to make sure that gets a nice solid electrical contact to the track. So again, just take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol or acetone on it, put it next to the roller and just spin it around until it comes clean. Okay, there's our car back on the rails. It looks nice and weathered, and I've added the containers back into the well of the car. Everything's looking great. The only thing we have left to do is apply some power to the rails so we can see our end of train device in operation. And there it is, looking great. couple quick closing notes. If you're new to weathering and you haven't done it before, I would not recommend starting with a piece of equipment that you care about. My suggestion would be to go to some place like eBay and buy some old broken equipment that you can then practice on before you get to the stuff you really care about. I've gone on eBay and picked up a box of six or seven old boxcars from the 70s that have missing wheels or are broken in some way, and then I've used those to practice on before I started working on the stuff I cared about. The last thing that I wanted to mention was that I don't want you to feel that the way that I weathered this car is the way that it has to be done. There's infinite number of ways you can weather a car. There's tons of materials you can use, so feel free to experiment on your own. When you get those broken pieces of equipment off eBay, feel free to experiment. Use different materials, use a different style, and don't feel that you have to use the same weathering method on every car because Different cars weather in different ways. So there really are no rules to weathering. It's basically what feels right to you.